So our next matrix operation is matrix multiplication. So let's say matrix multiplication. I'm going to start this with just a simple example, and then we will use that example to kind of develop a general idea about matrix multiplication. So let's say we have a matrix, once again, 1, 2, 3, 4. We're just going to multiply two, two by two matrices together here. So just make the numbers relatively simple for us. Okay, so let's say we have matrix A on the left, matrix B on the right. So I'm going to multiply them. How is that multiplication performed? What you do with matrix multiplication is you perform a sequence of dot products, basically. So for instance, if I look at row one of the matrix on the left and I dot that vector, right, with column one of the matrix on the right, that dot product results in a scalar. And that scalar value is the first component of the product of these two matrices. So let's see that. When I dot 1, 2, that vector with 0, 2, I multiply the first components together. I get 1 times 0 plus 2 times 2. So let me just write this as row 1 of A. That's a vector. I'm going to dot that with column 1 of B. OK, so again, when I perform this operation, I go 1 times 0 plus 2 times 2. That gives me 0 plus 2 times 2 is 4. I place the number 4 here. So now moving on, I take the first row still of the matrix on the left, and now I'm going to dot that with the second column of the matrix on the right. So now, in other words, I take row 1 of A as a vector, and I dot it with column uh, 2 of B, also a vector. And the result of that dot product is 1 times negative 1 plus 2 times negative 3. Just multiply the components together, add up this product. So I have negative 1 minus 6 is negative 7. So then I place a negative 7 here. I then move on to row 2. And now I kind of hit reset. And I dot here row 2, this vector, with column 1 to get the uh, element in the second row, first column, in the resultant matrix. So here I'm going to take row 2 from A, dotted with column 1 from B as a vector. I just perform the arithmetic. So 3 times 0 plus 4 times 2. So if 0 plus 8 is 8. So I place an 8 here. And then lastly, just to finish this up, and this will form our, our general pattern for matrix multiplication, now I'm going to dot, lastly, the second row of A with the second column of B. I have row 2 of A as a vector dotted with column 2 of B as a vector. Perform the dot product one more time. I have 3 times negative 1 plus 4 times negative 3. So I have negative 3 minus 12 results in negative 15. So there is an example of matrix multiplication. So as I said from the outset, it's a sequence of dot products. I want to define this in a general sense. Let's do that here, just using this example to kind of piggyback on that. So in the resultant matrix, that is the product of A times B, to determine the component in the first row in the first column, I take row 1 of A, and I dot it with column 1 of B, the right matrix. Okay. Similarly, as we just saw, to determine the component, let's say, A12 in the resultant matrix, I take row 1, once again, of A, and dot it with column 2, in this case, of B. So generally speaking, to determine the ij element of our resultant matrix, the general pattern is as follows. I take row i of the left matrix as a vector and dot it with column j of the right matrix as a vector. So there is the algebraic definition of matrix multiplication.